Hello everyone, my name is Joy Adediji. Welcome to NABN TV. Nigerians in the United States of America are making big contributions to the U.S. economy. Nigerians are excelling. Everywhere you go in the United States of America, there's a Nigerian doing big things. Recently in Howard University, 96 candidates of the Doctor of Pharmacy, 46 of them were Nigerians, and out of the first 46, 16 were bestowed with special awards. Nigerians are doing big things. And now, Nigerians are going back to their native country, Nigeria, from the United States of America to contribute their own quota. Nigerians who have acquired expertise in the U.S. are going back to assist Nigerians in the best capacity that they can. Today we have Barrister Michael Okejuku. He's an attorney, he's a husband, he's a father, he's an entrepreneur. Mr. Okejuku, welcome to our show. Thank you. Can you please tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? My name is Michael Ifai Okechuku. Um, I come from Imo State. Um, I went to school uh, in Nigeria. I went to elementary school in Township Primary School in Oweri. Went to Holy Ghost College Oweri. Then went to Federal Government College in Korebene. And when I finished, I went to the University of Lagos. Finished in uh, 1990. In 1994, I came to the United States, went to the University of Denver College of Law, now called Storm College of Law, uh, finished in 1998, um, came to New Jersey, took the bar in February of 1999, started work as an attorney in 1999, June. I worked for a law firm in South Jersey in 2003, I was appointed a uh, United States bankruptcy trustee, and in that capacity, I, my job entailed liquidating assets mm -hmm. of businesses uh, and individuals, uh, accounting for those businesses mm -hmm. and those monies. I was responsible for investing those monies for the United States government, running into hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, and I joined a partnership later on. And in 2014, I went back to full pra private practice again, um, even though I continue to work as a United States trustee uh, bankruptcy trustee. So just from your own expertise, how do you compare the Nigerian legal system and the U.S. legal system? Do you see any difference or how are we able to make Nigerian legal system better than what it is right now? I think they can learn a lot from uh, the uh, United States legal system. Uh, there are collaborations going on right now between judges in Nigeria and judges in New Jersey. Oh, wow. um, however, there's a whole lot to be done. Um, I believe that if, for example, if we can develop our bankruptcy system uh, to look anything close to what they have in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, that will open avenues for both the government and the individuals in Nigeria who can access that avenue to deal with uh, their issues, uh, financial issues. Um, it also develops the individual, uh, such as myself, who came from Nigeria to the United States to be appointed the first black trustee wow. uh, in this part of the world uh, to manage hundreds of millions of dollars uh, for the government of the United States. The trust that uh, that requires, mm -hmm. the integrity that that requires, uh, is something that uh, will uh, augur well for Nigeria um, if we can develop a system like that, a system of trust, uh, checks and balances, 
where I get audited basically every six months yeah. uh, to ensure uh, that I'm doing exactly yeah. what I'm required to do, that there's accountability. Correct. Um, there cannot be, there's a form that we generate that mm -hmm. is called Form 2. Mm -hmm. uh, the Form 2 has to balance with your bank statement wow. every month. You manually make sure that it balances every month. And every six months, you're supposed to submit this to what they call a 180-day report. Wow. Um, if we have these checks and balances in Nigeria, I think it would go a long way in tackling the corruption that yes. we are talking about in the financial world. And, you know, um, it, it's something that I would like to see. Another area of law that I would like to see is in the trust account management. Mm -hmm. um, I've spoken to a couple of lawyers in Nigeria, and there doesn't seem to be a standardized way of monitoring how lawyers handle other people's money uh, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, here, your, tri your trust account is inviolate. There are no mistakes. You don't make mistakes mm -hmm. in the trust account because that's not your money. Correct. It belongs to a third party. So you account for it and it's monitored. And if that account is overdrawn, you can lose your license. Wow. These are things that we need to bring you know, into Nigeria uh, to sanitize those. As also as a, as, as a, uh, as a lawyer, I functioned in uh, boards of corporations. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been a part of uh, uh, corporations mm -hmm. uh, uh, or members of their board. And this is an exciting area for me because it goes hand in gloves with my entrepreneurial spirit mm -hmm. um, where I help to run those boards and run the company and the business aspect of lawyering. Uh, the transactional law, I call it, and it is something that I would like to see some of our young lawyers go into. So, since you are you're willing to return to Nigeria and you're practically in Nigeria all the time, doing all these big things, trying to improve the economy, in construction, in power, and all that stuff, what are your plans to help improve Nigeria and Nigerians' way of life or way of living? Mm -hmm. uh, in the area of audit, mm -hmm. um, putting checks and balances in place, um, determining when there has been fraud, wow. um, locating assets, mm -hmm. um, ensuring that there is no waste, reinvesting government money. Mm -hmm. um, other than other than that, at this moment, um, we just set up a company in Nigeria called MG Electric Nigeria Limited. Um, which is a, a subsidiary uh, of MG Electric, mm -hmm. a company known as Merit mm -hmm. in the United States, actually New Jersey. Okay. Uh, it's uh, an independent arm of mm -hmm. the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Oh, wow. And they have a technology in power that we believe um, would change the whole equation on power. Wow. Um, this is renewable energy that will guarantee power 24 7. Hmm. Um, it uses um, lithium ion batteries and the technology is simply out, simply out of this world. Wow. Um, when, of course, when I was approached by Merit mm -hmm. um, to be the CEO of the company anywhere outside of the United States, mm -hmm. the first place I decided to go with it was Nigeria. That's good. Um, it is a phenomenal uh, technology uh, that is guaranteed by the Lloyds of London, the, the equipment is mm -hmm. guaranteed by the Lloyds of London uh, Insurance Company. Mm -hmm. And I believe that 
Nigeria will soon experience power that doesn't go away uh, as we've had it for a while. Uh, and I'm excited about the prospects. So this is really amazing. I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure our viewers, especially those in Nigeria, are looking forward to this. Are you in collaboration with any organization in Nigeria, maybe trying to help bring this company, or are you just... The, the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are in collaboration with, uh, um, with industrial unions okay. uh, all over the country, with mm -hmm. the state governments. Mm -hmm. We are talking to the state government. Mm -hmm. As you know, for example, Anambra State mm -hmm. had sent their, um, their power company packing oh, wow. because the power wasn't being, being generated. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, people still get bills wow. for power that was never used. Yeah. And um, it is these are spaces that we will occupy. We, we know we are talking to the right people. Uh, we know that we will um, uh, provide power in Nigeria uh, that would be like uh, what we have here. Simply because of the size of the project, mm -hmm. uh, the minimal uh, project that we are building will be three megawatts wow. of power. And so these are these are not for the individual, but if the companies uh, acquire these mm -hmm. products, mm -hmm. they can guarantee power to the individuals. I have a good Nigerian here who's trying to give back. He was approached by this company to be the CEO for their global company, and the first place he thought about to take this was Nigeria. So how patriotic can that be? So do you have any advice for Nigerians in the diaspora who may have this opportunity but don't even think about their country, Nigeria? Where do we go from, or how do we try to encourage other Nigerians to do something similar so we can develop our country? My advice to fellow entrepreneurs and fellow Nigerians in the diaspora is um, remember where you come from. Um, Nigeria will remain our home uh, for generations to come. And the United States was where Nigeria is now at some point. And people came back to develop the country. And I'm pleading to every Nigerian in the diaspora uh, that has the training, the wherewithal, uh, the experience uh, to think about Nigeria, to come back and contribute and give back something in Nigeria. Um, and any one of them can reach out to me. Um, I can share my experiences with them. Uh, and um, it's something that we're doing for God and humanity. Um, there are people that deserve better than what they have now. And I think that if one-tenth of Nigerians in the diaspora who have achieved some kind of eminence in their areas of practice would return to Nigeria. Nigeria would probably be one of the most developed countries in the world. On behalf of NABN TV, congratulate you on this project and being appointed the CEO of this company. We wish you all the success because at the end of the day, if it succeeds, we all succeed. There are great Nigerians out there, and he is one of them. He's very patriotic. He's taking back his ex expertise to Nigeria to develop Nigeria so that Nigerians can experience the kind of lifestyle that we live here also in Nigeria. So we want to use this opportunity to thank you and to commend you on the great job that you're doing. So keep up the good work. Thank you. And I want to thank NMB TV for the great work you've been doing. We are excited about our local station uh, and all the work it's doing to promote Nigeria and to promote Nigerians. Thank you very much for having me. Well, viewers, we have come to the end of this interview. It was great talking to Mr. Michael Okechukwu and to all the Nigerians who are doing good and great things in the United States of America. If you want to be featured on our program, please go to our website at www.nabntv.com. Until next time, thank you for watching. NABN, New African Broadcasting Network.